Hi, this is Elise Hossa. Today, I'm going to be doing my updated makeup routine. Okay, so I, I've already prepped my face with the skincare, moisturized and hydrated na ang skin ko. So I'm going to be starting with this makeup routine. First things first, I'm going to prep my hair. Siyempre, kailangan wala ang hair sa face. So I'm going to put the clip on. Perfect! Now, I'm gonna start with this new technique that I discovered on TikTok and IG. And it's where I put all the cream product first and then blend it all together. So this one is a hybrid, kind of like a hybrid foundation and primer. So I just usually do that wherever I need glow on and then we put our concealer this is actually perfect for everyday makeup because I won't be needing foundation on saan pa ba kailangan ng, uh, ng concealer eyes I'm gonna be using also my concealer that's what you do daw Para maging lifted ang face. We'll see. We're gonna go from light to dark. So next is the blush. This is my favorite blush as of today. As of today. You only need a little along the way. Later we can add some more if kulang. I try not to put the blush all the way down here. Kasi magmumukhang... Medyo bagsak. What we want to achieve is to look very lifted all throughout. So as much as possible, I put my products here sa higher corners of my face. After the blush, my favorite is the bronzer. This is one of my favorites because it's blendable and it's very easy to blend. It's blendable. It's easy to blend. <laughs> what I do is I kind of like push the product in like so other side what's good about this makeup technique is it's very easy because later you'll see how everything just blends together ang mahirap lang na part is yan packing everything onto your face but the rest is pretty Basic. So I go all the way up to my temples. Alam ko siyang sabi nyo guys. Pat ganyan. Ano nangyayari? But trust me, trust the process. Kaya natin to. And then I just define the jaw more. Uh, okay, so after the bronzers. We're gonna start with a few drops. Kasi mamaya, pwede pa natin yung dagdagan. Sorry. Ang nakalimutan ko from the very start. Prime our lips. With a bomb. We're good to go. Tapos na ang ating face painting moment right there. So what we're gonna do now is the actual blending. What I recommend using is um, a stippling brush like this one. Yung merong flat edge. Para it's easy to blend like this. This is what we're gonna do. Pack on the products all together. But since parang yung cream nga nagdadry na sa face natin, they say to mist everything. So I'm gonna mist my face with Kadali Beauty Elixir. So this one is a face mist. And it gives that dewy but not oily finish to your face. So it's highly recommended. My makeup artists use this. So sa kanila ko to na discover. And I got myself this small one to try for myself. And I end up loving it. What you do is have a good spray for your whole face. Make sure you get everything and blend. The trick here is to blend from lightest to darkest as well. So we're gonna blend our concealer first. And 
don't be afraid to mist again if you feel like your face is drying already. Mas maganda kapag very damp ang face. If you're asking why this technique is very nice, it's because with this type of technique, parang isang layer lang lahat ang makeup mo on your face. We don't like the cakey look. So I noticed when I got pregnant and I haven't been doing my makeup, when I got back and I started doing my makeup again, I have work and shoot. Tapos pag ako lang mag-isang nag-makeup sa sarili ko, Sabi ko, parang hindi na ako marunong mag-makeup. Parang after I finish the whole look, parang one dimension and very... tend to get powdery or cakey on my face. Eh, dati-dati, parang master na master ko yung fresh look sa makeup. I'm so happy that I discovered this kasi with this one, I get the skin-like type of makeup look that we all want. So now I'm moving on to contour and the bronzing. I try to clean the brush as much as possible, pero dabbing lang sa tissue paper. And I go over everything, just to make sure everything is well blended. So I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna show you two of my recommended products. The Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand and the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. So for today, since we're going with a natural look, I'm gonna go with the Fenty Beauty. Very easy to apply. I just line my natural nose line. I do a kind of V shape on the tip and right here, para mas maging matangos. Ilang ko tumingin sa camera na to. So that's the end product of our skin finish. Look, take note, we didn't use a foundation, so that's perfect for every day because it's very lightweight. Still get the glow that we want. We still get not so much the coverage, but at least you get to cover the spots that needs to be covered. This one is tried and tested. This lasts me for the whole day. What I love about this is that it's very easy and I still get that dewy glow that I love. We're moving on to our eyes. Today, I am using just a natural brown and this is the palette I'm using. Too Faced Natural Eyes. What I'll be using is the matte brown. It's on the cooler tone of brown. So, put that in. We're not doing anything crazy. But like I said, the star of this show is the base. So, very subtle eye makeup. But you can always go for the very, very natural look, which is the no eyeshadow look. So, just to blend out the outer corner, I use my finger to do that. It looks so much better if it's blended. So, there. That's it for our eyeshadow. So I want to share with you guys my latest discovery for brows and it's the Patrick Ta's Major Brow Lamination Gel. So I've been obsessed with bushy brows. Hindi ko not sure kung trend pa siya, but I've been liking it on my face. So lagi ako nagahanap ng product that would keep my brows up but i never never could find any siguro it's just gonna last up to a couple of hours but this one this one is 
super super 24 hour stay wedding wedding so i'm gonna show you guys how this works i use the back side of the brush to kind of press it upwards Tada! do you guys see the difference the trick with this one though kailangan mabilis mo siyang uh, i-work on because it dries up kind of quickly and what happens is when it dries up before you actually set set the brows pero may iwan na white stuff on it i think it's the product that dried up and yun lang naman ang downside with this one but overall i give this a 4 out of 5 so i'm just going to fill in the sparse areas, the boongy boongy areas of my brows. And the trick is to go with a light hand. And go with the direction of your natural brows. Then for the inner part of your brows, I go with the back end of any brush that you have and I just lightly do this para mag soften yung part na to. Oh, pag brows talaga. It's an art. It's gonna take me longer than the rest of my face. This is my better brow, so it's better if I show you this one. This side is easier to manage, but it's okay. No two brows are perfect and symmetrical. That's the finished product. Bushy and filled in. If you're the type of person who has oily skin, you may want to put powder on top of the cream products that we use. So you can put your powder contour, your powder blush, or powder everything. <laughs> so yon, pwede yung gawin na magpatong kayo ng powder products nyo if that's what suits you best. Or if like me, I like to keep it like this and dewy and glowy. So I'm just gonna set my T-zones with powder. The powder that I'll be using is the Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish. Notice that I skipped my lashes because I already have lash extensions on. But for you guys who want to do your lashes, then you can go ahead and do that. And last touch, of course, are mist. So for my lip, I'm gonna use Cream and Sugar by Marc Jacobs. You can use any lip liner that you have. This is one of my favorites though because it's a nude pinkish lip liner and I don't want that overlined look. I just want a medio pouty look. But I, I don't do too much of the overline. This is a favorite because of the shade and how easy it is to glide on my lip. Most times, dito lang ako sa my cupid's bow naga overline. So I kind of just shape it a little over my natural lip. And I bring it down. And dal dal na ano. <laughs> Using my fingers again, I blend it. But I'm gonna add my favorite balm as well. This is the lip glow from Dior. It's the Color Reviver Balm in the shade 001.
basically that's it for the lips that's it for the face i'm gonna go fix my hair up and i'll show you guys the outcome of everything i'll be right back so this is the final look for my updated makeup routine i hope you guys enjoyed watching this as i enjoyed it so much sharing with you this new makeup technique that i discovered online so thank you guys for watching see you on my next vlog